Hello, Downey. This is your mayor, Claudia Fermetta. It is my pleasure to be here with you today. I am not wearing my facial covering since I am outside and we are six feet apart. I am delighted to be here this afternoon with our police chief, Dean Milligan. Hello, chief. How are you today? I'm wonderful, Madam Mayor. Thank you for having me. It's nice to see you. It is so nice to see you, chief. Downey, many of you have asked me uh, over the last several weeks, what is it that we're doing about speed enforcement? And also, what's happening around our streets? Is it true that we are having an increase in near fatal accidents? Uh, also, some of you that live near Stonewood Mall have indicated uh, some street racing activity uh, around the parking lot. Well, this afternoon, we are here to address some of those complaints, some of those issues, and why none other and the better person to answer these questions <laughs> than our police chief. Uh, chief Milligan, can you please tell us what is your department doing uh, at this point in time to address the issue of speeding? What are we doing for speed enforcement? Okay, so over, over the course of the years, we have a, a dedicated team of traffic enforcement professionals both motorcycle officers as well as officers deployed in vehicles. And they utilize a number of different tools, radar equipment, laser equipment, moving radar equipment. And they use those to track people and their speeds as they travel throughout our community. You might see them positioned in different places around the, the community based on the time of day and the, the, the heaviness of traffic, if you will. But what they're doing is they're monitoring the speed of the vehicles as they're traveling through and identifying those that are traveling above the speed limit and then when the situation warrants it, making drivers contacted and issuing citations as appropriate. That, that's the first prong. The second prong is, as you mentioned, uh, the concern about the street racing and a lot of complaints that we're getting about gathering of car clubs. Mm -hmm. uh, and a perfect example is we're getting a lot of complaints here in the Stonewood parking lot uh, near the Raising Canes about car club groups uh, uh, congregating in the area, which in turn oftentimes leads to street, tape, street racing type of activities. So we're deploying a street racing detail, if you will, made up of officers that have a background in traffic enforcement and their specific task for, the, for their assignment is to identify groups congregating, uh, uh, car club type groups congregating and or addressing high uh, areas impacted by the reports of speeding vehicles. We've been deploying that special uh, team for the last 45 days and during that time, uh, we've made three arrests for uh, speed or street racing type of violations. We've impounded five vehicles and we've issued 141 citations. Not all those citations are for speeding or for street racing, mm -hmm. but they're for precursors to the groups or the car clubs or the types of vehicles that lead up to those that participate in the street racing. Chief, many folks have uh, also indicated there is a problem with uh, an increase on uh, accidents, near fatal accidents. Can you tell us, can you set the record straight in terms of what is happening and what is the department seeing uh, at this point in time? Sure, I, I think there's a, a, the first thing I want to assure you is, is that our overall traffic accident numbers are down from, from the previous year. That includes injury traffic accidents and serious injury traffic accidents, as well as fatal traffic accidents. But I think what we are seeing is that the messages that we're receiving from the public are oftentimes passed along through social media outlets. Somebody drives by and sees an accident, they take a picture of it, they share it with a few people, and all of a sudden five or six people are talking about all the accidents they've seen. But it's through these posts on social media where there may have been an accident, but the number is definitely not on the rise. The vehicle traffic is definitely not on the rise and, and the injury, especially the collisions, are definitely not on the rise. So I think some of it is just peer-to-peer -peer sharing, they're, they're sharing information and they're sharing it with other people who might not know and then you're getting the, the feedback from multiple people about the accidents, but oftentimes we find they're all talking about the same accident, right? And, mm -hmm. and there, there, there's not to say that we don't have accidents that, that look horrible, uh, especially when they involve multiple cars, but we've been fortunate in that the majority of the accidents that we respond on are not injury and definitely not seriously injury, mm -hmm. uh, injury serious injury type of accidents. So I think that's what I attribute it most to is just the way that people are passing the information along from one to another. And as, as you well know, uh, that's, it's a great form for people to share information, right? To share safety information, to share areas of concern. But oftentimes what we're finding is we're getting multiple reports of the same incident from people most of the time that weren't even there, didn't even actually see it, but they're reporting basically what someone told them or what someone shared with them on social media. Mm -hmm. So it seems to be potentially an increase, but the reality is that we're not, the numbers aren't uh, showing an increase in any of the accidents. 
Thank you, thank you, Chief. And, and there you have it, Downey. Uh, I think it's important for us to continue to come together and collaborate and work together. Um, if you are hearing things, if there's issues that I am not addressing as your mayor, uh, I welcome your feedback. Uh, certainly, we are encouraged to know we have such a solid police department uh, and such great leadership um, leading this department. Thank you, Chief, for your leadership. Uh, we will continue to ensure that there is enforcement uh, of, of our speed uh, limit zones and that our community uh, truly feels safe. Uh, we will continue to address those sure. issues of concern that you keep uh, bringing to us, uh, specifically on the speed racing uh, and the speed enforcement. Thank you, Downey. Please stay safe. And thank you, Chief, for a good conversation. If, if I might add, Madam Absolutely. Mayor, thank you again for having me. But I, I want to reiterate to our citizens that if, if you see something and you have a concern, please don't hesitate to let us know, right? I, I, I don't want people to think, oh, somebody, somebody else probably already reported that, so I don't feel like I need to. Absolutely. If it's something that you're concerned with, something that doesn't look right, something that doesn't seem right, something that seems like it's a safety issue, please don't hesitate to let us know because we will respond. We will follow up and we will make sure that whatever the concern is, is, is taken care of one way or the other, whether it's a simple thing of advice or you know, whether uh, uh, whatever we can do, whatever, however we can help. But I definitely don't want people to feel like, oh, there's no sense in calling them because they're not gonna be able to do anything about it anyways. Because we will show up and we will do everything that we can to help. <clears throat> Excuse me, thank you, Chief. That is a very important point. Uh, see something, say something. And know that if our officers do not respond immediately, it is because uh, at any given moment, uh, especially on weekends, there may be uh, a, a backlog of calls yes, and, and those calls are handled by priority. And so I think it's important for our residents to also uh, understand that. But uh, any any uh, additional comments, Chief? No, I think you make an important point in, in that, uh, the, the, I believe that the term in, in your field is triage, right? We, yes. we, we get calls for service, we have to triage the, the level of emergency, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the most emergent calls we respond to as a priority, the calls that, that, that may be a concern but aren't, don't rise to the level of actual emergency, we will get there as soon as the emergency calls allow us to. So I never want people to feel dissuaded from calling us because it took us more than a couple minutes to get there depending upon the type of a call. But rest assured, we will be there. It's just a matter of, as, as the situations that we're dealing with unfold, to get there as quick as we possibly can. Thank you, thank you. And Downey, please be safe out there. Uh, we are hoping for better days in 2021. And Chief, thank you again for your time. My pleasure, Stay safe, Downey. Take care, folks. Bye thank now. you.